Hey guys and gals, Green Bay Wacky here. I've got another tip for you. I've got a YouTube life series. And if you're just watching this, you know, I do have comedy videos and all that fun stuff, a little shameless plug. Let's talk about, oh, nobody watches me. Nobody supports me anymore. All these people used to come to my channel. They never do. Guys, I have thousands of people don't watch me anymore. And let me tell you why. Plus, I'm going to show you PewDiePie's channel. And I'm also going to give you some uh, uh, words of wisdom along with some hope. And maybe you're not doing as bad as you think. Once I explain it, you got to stay with me on this video. I want you to type in the comments how long you stuck in this video. I'm going to try to keep it six minutes or less. Now, first off, here's what happens. When you're new to YouTube, you're new. A lot of other channels are new, all right? So you guys are interacting a lot. You're, it's like a frenzy, you know, right? But as you keep getting subscribers, as they keep getting subscribers, there's less and less and less time to go around everyone's videos and to go around to anyone's live streams. Now, it just happens. I see this all the time. People like, stay active, stay active. You are gonna become the very person, you yourself, if you're gonna grow on YouTube, will become the very person that you want the other person to be. You'll be the person that's not active. So, here's the deal. There's 24 hours in a day, let's get realistic. I don't think a lot of people think about this. And I'm gonna tell you about why views don't matter anyway. I'm gonna explain everything here, just hang with me. Tell me if you made it through this video. Okay, number one, there's 24 hours in a day. Okay, let's say you got a job, eight hours, okay? Not everyone's on YouTube all day long, right? Let's say you have um, not only the eight hours that you're going you know, to for work, you're gonna sleep seven or eight hours. Well, you just blew off 16 hours on your job and your sleep. You got, what, eight hours left now, roughly. Now, of the eight hours, you've got a YouTube channel to manage. You've got to make videos, edit videos. Do you know that some days I spend an hour and a half or more just answering comments? Just answering comments, which, by the way, if you're not doing that, man, you are missing out on a great way to grow your YouTube channel. It shows that you care about people that are watching your videos. The more comments I answer, the more views I get on my videos. Take it for what it is. I know some of you out there, oh, I don't have time. I can't type fast, all that try to make an effort. But anyway, let's not get on a tangent. So we got about eight hours left. Now, if you have kids, wife, you like to eat, right? I mean, I, I think so. Um, you might, by the end of all this sleep, job, you know, husband, wife, kids, running your YouTube channel, you might have three hours left in a day. So you would have to devote that three hours to YouTube. Now, keep in mind, you'd be doing that every day. That means you have no life other than YouTube. So what can you do in three hours? How many live streams, how many videos can you watch? And can you keep that pace up every day? Three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours watching videos. You can't, nobody can. So here's my advice. Don't worry about these people because what happens is they grow, you grow. You can't get around as much. It's just a sad, sad fact of life. When you find yourself not going to live streams and videos as much, remember, the same thing's happening for them. Now, I've been, have people argue with me on this. Oh, that's bull crap. I can watch 60 videos a day. Hey, if you wanna have no life, go ahead, watch 60 videos a day. Guys, you can't be pressured into thinking you've gotta spend every waking moment on YouTube running someone's video, watching their live stream. Or if you're not, you're the devil. You can do it, you gotta have a real life, you gotta have a breathing time. So that's what's going on. They're busy, you're busy, you can't get around as much. Now, let's get on to the next thing. Watch time, view time, all right? You might be doing better than you think. If you can get 10% of your subscriber base, now keep in mind, this is where people get confused, number one. You assume that you have 2,000 subscribers. You do not have 2,000 subscribers. People hit the subscribe button for various reasons. They watch a video of yours, I hit subscribe, maybe I'll check this guy out later and they don't get back. If you have 2,000 subscribers, I'll bet you really have 400 or 500 that are really watching you. So depending on what you base this number on would be actual subscribers versus what your subscriber number is. So let's say, I'm gonna give you an example. Let's say you have two, and I'm gonna show you PewDiePie stats here. Let's say you have 2,000 subscribers and you're shooting for 10% on an upload. You would expect to get 200 views, but that's shooting for the moon, getting 10%, right? Now, some channels get more, fine, but that's not the norm. Most people get 5% or less. That would, here's what you would expect. 10% of your 2,000 subscriber base, 200. 5%, 100. 3%, you'd be down to about 60 views, all right? 
That would be if everyone, you base that number on your actual sub count. Now, keep in mind what I just told you. Not every sub is an active sub. Let's say you have 400 active subs. 10% of 400 active subs would be 40 views. 5% of that would be 20 views. And 3% of that would be like 15 views or 12 views, whatever it would be. Look at PewDiePie right here. Let's go right now. I will show you PewDiePie. I can do this because this is for educational purposes. This is not copyright for this particular thing. Look at PewDiePie. Here we go. Bam. PewDiePie, 101 million subscribers. 10%, you'd expect 10 million views on every video. What's he got? 2 million, 4 .2, 3.8, 9.2, 5.9, 4.6, 5.6, 6.6, 4.4, 4.7, 4.2, 5.2. The top YouTuber on YouTube is getting less than 10% of their of his 101 million followers, less than 10%. He should have 10 million for 10%, 5 million for 5%, anything below that he's hitting three or 4%. Now it's impressive, we love PewDiePie. PewDiePie, you're always welcome to my live stream, by the way. But I'm trying to show you the reality, the reality of why you might be doing better than you think. You've got 2,000 subs, you upload a video, you get 33 views on it. You're like, no one's watching my stuff. You're actually probably in the norm, all right? So don't be discouraged from that, all right? Now, I'm gonna close out with this, now that you know that. Don't base your friendships, I hear this all the time. I'm friends with this person, they never watch my stuff, they never support me. I'm friends with people, people are friends with me, we don't watch each other's stuff, we can't, we're too busy. Don't base your friendship on how much I'm gonna watch your videos. That's out the door. You be friends with people that you're friends with. You be their friend and care less about whether they ever set foot in your live stream or ever watch a video. That's the way to have real friends on YouTube. I do not care about any of my friends watching my stuff. I can't watch all their stuff. They can't watch mine. Don't base your friendship on that. So here's my words of advice. Upload, 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 upload. Put a lot of content out there to have a chance to get more views. But don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. And here's the thing I want to end with. Remember this. Views are nothing. What you need to look at, and no one's ever told this. By the way, tell me if you made it this far. If you made it this far, we're going to get to the analytics. You'll say, I made it to the analytic part of your video. That's good. You probably made about six minutes. Views are nothing. That's what I used to look at. Views. What you want to watch is the watch time, the engagement. You go to YouTube Studio Beta. And you look at your, and you go to a video, you look at the analytics, and you look at engagement. Let's say you have a 10 minute video, the engagement is 50 seconds. You suck. It doesn't matter if you have thousands of views. You want engagement. You want to get over that 50% mark, 60%, 70%, 80%. Hopefully they'll watch the whole friggin' video. Stop focusing on views. You want to look at how long did they view the video? How long did they engage with you? Click-through rate, that's what's important. No one's told you this. Subscriber count, meaningless, doesn't matter if they don't watch you. You could have thousands of dead subs because you subbed your subbed your way up to the top and no one watches you. So remember that. You might be doing better than you think. If you realize and understand, everyone's growing on YouTube, they can't get around as much, all right, because they have a real life. There's sleep, there's jobs, there's wives, there's kids, school all that stuff. And 10% of your subscriber base would be great. I've just showed you PewDiePie, the top YouTuber. If he can't get 10% consistently, why do you think you can? Huh? Are you better than PewDiePie? Seriously? By the way, PewDiePie, I love you. You're always welcome on my live stream. So a little ray of hope for you, a little dose of reality here, guys. Um, I hope this helps you. Tell me if you made it all the way through this video, if it helped you. I'm trying to make you think a little bit different. I got a bunch of stuff on my channel, YouTube life lessons, along with comedy and music and all that. I want you to be encouraged, not discouraged. You just have to start understanding what the numbers mean. Thousands of people that I've made friends with over the years don't come to my lives, don't watch my videos. They can't. You can only get to realistically maybe 10 to 20 videos and live streams a day if you're humping it. And don't let anyone drill you on guilt you on to, oh, I can get to more than that. Good for you. You have no life. All right. Just because you sit around your house 
and can watch 80 videos a day, don't expect that's the norm. You have to say, well, that's me. I'm, you know, I'm more at home. I have more time on my hands. And a lot of people aren't even working on their channels anyway. If you're truly working on your channel, making content, uploading, doing live streams, you're not going to have that much time to get around neither other people. That's it from Green Bay Wacky. My point, let's just nail it right before we leave here. Friendships, don't base it on how much they watch your stuff. Analytics are what matter. How long they watch your stuff, not how many views are on it. If they only watch it for 10 seconds, good vid, awesome vid. Views are meaningless. YouTube's an electronic algorithm, so remember that. So the friends, the algorithm, and uh, remember, 10% would be good for you. Would be good for you. All right, that's it. Green Bay Wagyu. Tell me if you made it through the whole video.